What's up YouTube, it's Jackal Goldkeck, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about old Eminem songs I dislike. So, this is a topic I thought about before, thought it was an interesting, unique topic, and I'm going to cover it in this video. Now, when it comes to Eminem, I am a fan of this rapper. I've had plenty of videos on the channel about him. He's got great music. He's one of my favorites. I definitely put him in my top 10 rappers video. I think his best music is from Slim Shady EP all the way to Hell the Sequel. Now, after Hell the Sequel, there are some songs I like from him here and there, like The Monster, Survival, Berserk, Guts Over Fear. But for the most part, I think his music just got worse after Hell the Sequel. And, you know, there's, there are some people that only really like the prime old Eminem, from like Slim Shady LP to Eminem Show and kind of Encore. But I, I personally still think Eminem made good music even after and during Encore. But there's some people that don't feel that way. And, you know, that is that is some of Eminem's best music for sure. But I thought it would be interesting for a change to talk about songs from Eminem from like his golden age, his prime age, that I actually dislike. Because, I mean, if I were to talk about least favorite Eminem songs and just pick from his new stuff, it'd be easy. But I think it's more interesting and just different to talk about specifically his music from back then. So let's get started with this. I have some songs listed, and then there's an album I'm going to mention, which I will explain. So the first song I'm going to be talking about is the song If I Had from the album, the Slim Shady LP. I've never liked the song If I Had. I heard it back then, didn't really care for it. I revisited it some time ago, still don't like the song. It's got good subject matter. It's Eminem talking about life struggles and the bullshit you deal with in life and how life's a bitch, but Eminem has a weird rap style on the song. It feels like he's talking on the song more than actually rapping. I don't care for the sample or whatever's in there, if it is a sample or not, with whatever woman you hear in the background. I think the beat sucks. I'm not really a fan of the production at all. It just felt like another version and kind of a retread of what Rock Bottom was doing, but Rock Bottom was much better and did it much better. Rock Bottom had similar subject matter, but it had better production, better rap style from Eminem, better chorus, and just overall better. If I had, not a song I care for. It's my least favorite song off the Slim Shady LP. So the next song I'm going to be talking about is Bad Influence, which is a song he made for the end of days movie soundtrack the movie that arnold did which is a really good movie this is not a good eminem song it's got really good rapping it's got a really good chorus and really good lyrics but the problem with bad influence is it has a bad beat the beat in the song is just not any good it's bad production and it just ruins the song because everything else is good except for the beat if the song had a better beat it'd be a lot better i wish i got a remix back when this song did come out because it could have improved the beat. But yeah, not a fan of Bad Influence. And it's a shame because it's prime Eminem and everything else is good. And it's on a soundtrack of a good movie. But yeah, don't like Bad Influence. The next song I'm going to be talking about is Crazy in Love. Never liked Crazy in Love. It's one of the weaker songs on Encore. I kind of like Eminem's rap style on there where he kind of goes fast and then slows down a bit. But I don't like the production on that song. I also don't care for the sample in there and the sample and the chorus and the chorus itself. I just don't think it's any good. I think it's a bad love song. And it's one of my least favorite Eminem songs. I could just never get into Crazy in Love. Don't really care for that song. It's a forgettable Eminem song. And yeah, I don't like that song because of the beat and sample and chorus mainly. So the next song I'm going to be talking about is Yellow Brick Road. And to me, this is Eminem's worst song, and this is like my least favorite Eminem song of all time. I fucking hate Yellow Brick Road. I get why the song was made, because the subject matter is about the whole Foolish Pride racist tape thing. So it was an important song to make, but I do not like Yellow Brick Road. I think this is the worst song on Encore, and like I said, this is my least favorite Eminem song. I think this is the worst song he's made. I don't like Yellow Brick Road. I think it has an ugly horrendous beat i hate the beat to this song it just sounds disgusting and horrendous to listen to i don't care for the chorus and i think the song it just it just feels very generic like i just don't care for yellow brick road even the song title sucks so yeah i don't like that one the, my main issue with that song is the production it's just so horrendous like i hate the weight the 
I just hate the way the beat sounds in that song. It sounds terrible. So, yeah, not a fan of Yellow Brick Road. The next song I'm going to be talking about is... Now, what I will say with Yellow Brick Road real quick, it does have good rapping from Eminem, but, yeah, I don't like that one. So the next song I'm going to be talking about is Foolish Pride. Now, the song's bad enough already because of the subject matter, you know, the whole black chick thing he was talking about. This was a song that Benzino bought, the whole racist tape Eminem thing. But Eminem apologized for this and stuff, so this is not a song I hold against Eminem anymore. You know, he made this years ago and stuff. But, you know, excluding the subject matter, this is just a bad song. And it was when Eminem was first starting out. You know, some people get better with time, and they're not amazing at something they start with. But Foolish Pride is not a good song by Eminem. It's one of his worst songs. The production on the song sucks. There's this weird sound effect in the song where someone's going do 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 do. It's just it's not good. Um, Eminem's rapping on there is okay, but a lot of the lyrics are definitely not up to snuff and up to par with what Eminem's lyrics usually are. The chorus is bad. The way Eminem sounds on it, it's bad. And of course, the subject matter is terrible. There's you know the racism stuff, but it's just not a good song. It's awful. So. Yeah, don't like Foolish Pride. It's a terrible song. Um, the next song I'm going to be talking about is Haley's song from the Eminem show. I think this is the worst song on the Eminem show, and it's my least favorite song from that album. I don't like Haley's song. I've never liked Haley's song. I think Eminem's done much better songs about his daughter, like When I'm Gone or Castle, but I don't like Haley's song. Don't get me wrong. It has a great beat. I love the production for Haley's song. It's fantastic. But my issue with the song is Eminem sings on the entire fucking song. I like the subject matter. I like the reason he made the song. It was for his daughter, which is cool. But the fact that he would sing on the whole song mostly and not really rap at all on it, that just sucks. And that's what made me not like the song, Haley's song. I actually prefer Dennis's version. Dennis did a remix to the song called crystal song i think it's way better because dennis has at least two rap verses on there he only sings in the chorus and i think dennis sings better on the chorus than eminem singing on here and this was kind of the start like Haley's song was the start of eminem doing that singing thing now i can deal with a lot of eminem singing for the most part from like the slim shady ep to hell the sequel but after hell the sequel and a lot of his new music his singing definitely got a lot more obnoxious and stuff And, you know, a lot of people already don't really like Eminem singing and are big fans of it. And like Carcino for Life said, it did start with Haley's song because he said in the song, I can't fucking sing, but I'm going to sing. He definitely should stick more to just doing rap choruses or having other rappers or other singers doing the chorus. Because, yeah, his newer stuff, his singing is way more obnoxious, but I could deal with Eminem singing back in the day. But this song just not a fan of it and it's a shame because it has such a good beat if eminem just were to rap on it and if he would have did rapping on it instead of singing in the verses would have been a great song but it's ruined because of the singing so yeah i don't like that song uh the next song i'm going to be talking about is mockingbird from his encore album and rap critic pointed something out that i'm going to point out of why i don't like mockingbird mockingbird has a good chorus and it has good production. I like the subject matter. It's about his daughter. And it has a really good music video. But the problem with the song is Eminem's delivery. I don't like Eminem's delivery on Mockingbird. It feels more like he's talking or like reading off something than actually rapping. And it's just awkward and weird. And it just doesn't make for an appealing listen. And it's a shame because everything else is good. Subject matter, beat, music video, etc. But Eminem's delivery feels more like he's talking and it just makes it not really an appealing song to listen to so yeah i'm not a fan of mockingbird even back when i you know heard a lot of encore and heard mockingbird it's just a song i never really cared for because of his rap delivery on there so the next song i'm going to be talking about is buster rhyme which is a collab he did with missy elliott and i believe timbaland produced this and this is a disappointing one because you would think, okay, Missy Elliott, who's a good rapper, Timbaland, who's a good producer, Eminem, who's a good rapper. You get all three of them together, you're going to get a quality song. Nah, it's not a good song because of the production. 
I included this song in my disappointing collabs video. I do not like Busta Rhyme. You know, at first I found out, oh, did Eminem and Missy Elliott ever collab? Oh, they did. I checked it out and I was just disappointed because I'm like, you know, they could do so much better than this. Timbaland could do so much better than this. Missy Elliott and Eminem could do so much better than this. It's, it's especially disappointing because they were in their prime when they made this song. I think this song came out in like either the either 99 or around the 2000s i think it was on a missy elliott album and it's just not a good collab there's it's good you got great rapping from missy elliott and eminem but the problem with the song is the production the beat is not any good and it's just crazy because timbaland's involved with the song too i think and it, it could have been so much better so yeah not a fan of the song buster rhyme i think eminem and missy elliott need to do another song together and make a better song honestly so the last song I'm going to mention before I get into the album thing I was going to talk about is the song Shake That with Nate Dogg, which is off Curtain Call. I don't care for Shake That. I think it's a boring song. Nate Dogg's a great singer. Rest in peace in Nate Dogg. He's talented. He's awesome. He does great jobs on the chorus. He's not really the problem with the song. You know, he does his part well on the song. But it's just a boring song. It's a boring club song. It's a boring party song. The beat, I don't really care for. Eminem just kind of sounds like he's uh, going through the motions and just kind of, I don't know, he just sounds bored on the song. It's just a very boring song, honestly. I don't like the production, and I think Eminem just doesn't really have a lot of energy on the song. And it's just a very uh, boring, forgettable, and just not really an appealing club song to listen to. I think Smack That was a much better song than this. That was a club type song. Smack That blows this out the water with Akon and Eminem. Blows this out the water. Um, or like You Don't Know. You know, that's like a better club type song. But Shake That with Nate Dogg. I've just never been a fan of this. And it's a disappointing collab with Eminem and Nate Dogg. Because they made great songs before. Till I Collapse, their best song together. That's a phenomenal song. Never Enough with 50 Cent and Eminem. Great song. But this one... Nah, you know, subject matter, it's, you know, about women and club and, you know, getting drunk type stuff, but it's just a boring song. I've never liked Shake That. It's not an Eminem song I really listen to because of the beat and Eminem just sounds bored on it, if I remember. And yeah, just a boring song. So the last thing I'm going to be mentioning is like kind of an album. Um, I didn't feel like writing down all the songs from it, so I just thought I would mention most of this album, excluding one song. Most of the Infinite album I don't like, except for the self-titled song. Now, I do like the self-titled Infinite song. I think it was done well. I like his rapping on there, and I like the production. But every other song on Infinite, I don't like. I don't think that's a really good Eminem album. Granted, it's when he was first starting out and stuff, but it was before he had the whole Slim Shady thing and before he knew Dre and Aftermath. But I'm not a fan of the Infinite album, excluding the self-titled track, because... It's boom bap hip hop. It's very dated and it's just not really appealing to listen to. And I don't really care for it. I think Slim Shady EP is a better early project for Eminem uh, pre Dr. Dre and Aftermath era. So, yeah, not a fan of Infinite besides the Infinite self titled track. Not a fan of most of the songs on there because of the production and they just not really appealing songs. They don't really stand out and because it's boom bap hip hop dated and not really a fan of boom bap hip hop to be honest so yeah that's it for this video uh me talking about some of eminem's old songs i dislike also talking about most of a his uh, infinite album as well i like most of eminem's music in terms of like old eminem slim shady ep to hell the sequel i guess i would consider old eminem like slim shady ep to maybe like the re-up era because Relapse and Recovery, that's kind of more new Eminem. Um, but I just thought it would be different to talk about, hey, let, you know, let's talk about some of his songs that weren't so good from Prime Eminem. Um, now, if I were to do a least favorite Eminem songs list or songs of his I don't care for, and I was to include or talk about his new stuff, the list would be way bigger. Because I dislike way more Eminem's newer music than his older music. But that's it for this video. If you're a fan of Eminem, i got a lot of other videos about Eminem on the channel. I did two videos talking about why I feel like he sucks nowadays. I did some fun facts videos about him. I did a video talking about um, 
why I feel like like why I disagree with him being the GOAT. I do think he's one of the best rappers of all time, but I don't think he's the GOAT because of his inconsistent music. Um, and then I did some reviews of like Shady X. I did a review of Shady XV, a review of The King and I. So I've done some Eminem videos on the channel. I did a reaction to Step Right Up. So uh, And I did some discussions like why you should have put out King Mathers, why you should have put out Relapse too, stuff like that. But anyways, that's it for the video on old Eminem songs to dislike. Let me know what songs you dislike of Eminem from old Eminem. Peace. That's it.